ever been told that you don't look like you can cook? Well, we've got quick soul food cooking solutions for the modern day diva mom. This is Soul Food in Stilettos. Well, I'll tell you, I don't care how modern your man might be, there's nothing sexier to him than a woman that looks good and knows how to throw it down in the kitchen. I started this show because I got tired of people feeling like I couldn't cook and asking me the question, really? You know how to cook? Just because I like to rock stilettos every day. Absolutely, we all can cook. I'm a wife, a mother of four, I work full time, and I run a business. And if I can cook, then I know that you can too. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to do my three bean sweet sausage and turkey chili. And now for the ingredients. The first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a nice sized crock pot, a skillet, one pound of ground turkey or ground beef. You're going to also need a little bit of Italian sausage and you're also going to need some tomato sauce and some diced tomatoes. You're also going to need kidney beans, black beans and pinto beans and you're also going to want to have an onion, bell pepper and some frozen sweet corn some butter, Mrs. Dash, and some chili powder, and you cannot forget about the cheddar cheese. So why don't we go ahead and get cooking in stilettos, of course. So first of all, let's go ahead and put one tablespoon of butter inside of your skillet. You know, I love that. Can't you just hear that sizzle? It sounds awesome. What? What? Come on, lady. Turn it down, turn it down. You don't want to blow up the kitchen. You want to look the bomb. You don't want to set off a bomb. <laughs> Now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and, and have your sweet onion and your bell pepper all cut up, dice it as, as fine or as chunky as you like, plop that into the skillet. Doesn't that sound awesome? I love that sizzle. It just makes me feel like I'm really doing something really spectacular in the kitchen. I mean, I just feel awesome. The aroma smells really, really great. Now while that's cooking down, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up this sausage. Now I'll tell you, I kind of nuked the sausage just a tad for about maybe... 20 seconds in the microwave and so it's not necessarily cooked but it, it's cooked enough that I'm able to cut into it and peel it from the outer casing I don't necessarily want that inside of my chili some people might want to do that it's not necessarily something that I want to do make sure that you cook your sausage thoroughly cook it right there inside of the bell pepper and once it's all cooked you're gonna go ahead and put it in a separate container and just put that to the side because you're gonna need that shortly take that ground turkey meat plop it in there. I opted to go with turkey meat because it is healthier, it's a leaner meat, but again, if you're if you're more apt and and more willing to do the ground beef then go ahead and do that. Now, a lot of people don't like to do the ground turkey because they feel like it doesn't have the right color, but I promise you things are going to change. Once your turkey's all cooked up, then now you're going to want to go ahead and put your sausage and the bell peppers and the onions back in there. Now this is when that color is going to change in the ground turkey. Remember I just told you about that? Get that chili packet. Now you might actually have some of your own ideas of what you want to put into your chili. I opt to do the chili packet because again, it's the whole ease of it. It makes everything a little bit easier. Make sure you mix that chili in there really, really well. And while that's happening, I'm actually kind of opening up my tomato sauce. Put that in there. Now this is just a regular can of tomato sauce. And I'm going to actually add in my diced tomatoes. Now these tomatoes are actually already seasoned. They have um, basil in them. And I like to get those tomatoes that have a little bit of something extra because it just kind of adds to the seasoning of the overall dish. Now as you can see, I'm kind of fluffing everything around, getting everything jazzed up together. This chili is going to be so awesome. I cannot even tell you. The smells in here are phenomenal let's go ahead and put those diced tomatoes in there mmm oh yeah ha <laughs> that's right diced tomatoes go basil go oregano looking good here make sure that you mix everything together thoroughly because that's what you really really want to do you want to be able to get all of that in there we're getting ready to add our beans in here now I'm sure you've probably heard of chili and you've thought that it's something that's supposed to be very very hard but it's really not. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a half of each can of the beans. Some people like to actually cook their beans, you know, right from the actual bean and cook it raw. That's fine. I choose to do the can because it's easier for, for the busy lifestyle that I have. 
Now, once again, if you're cooking on a budget, you don't necessarily have to use the whole entire can. I'll tell you, my family, they don't necessarily like a whole lot of beans, but guess what? Beans are so great in protein that it's not something that you want to mix. And let's, let's face it, it wouldn't be chili without the beans. So again, I did a half of the black beans, half of the can of the pinto beans, and half of the can of the dark kidney beans mixing all of that together really really well and I'm getting ready to get my frozen sweet corn now I chose to to do the sweet corn last because I don't necessarily want that corn to cook down and get mushy you know sometimes if you cook corn too long it can get mushy and that's fine in some occasions but I really enjoy having that little pop that goes into every single bite that you have and I'm telling you it's going to be phenomenal you're gonna have the, the spice of the chili. Oh, did you see my daughter in the background? I'm always on mommy duty, I know. Once you get everything cooked, you're going to want to go ahead and cover it. And now we're going to get started with your crock pot. Now, your chili is already done if you'd like to go ahead and serve it like that. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm layering it right now, almost like a lasagna. So I'm starting off with a little bit of cheese on the bottom. Ooh, don't you see that steam coming off? It smells divine. Then, of course, once you put the cheese down, you put some of your chili, then you do cheese, then you do chili, and you continue to layer on so on and so forth. Now, I've actually, I'm, it, this is morning time. I'm cooking the chili right now, or you could cook it at night. And so putting it in the crock pot is really, really time saving for when it's time to serve it. And as you can tell, I've done several layers of that, but I still have some cheese left over. Once you're done, go ahead and cover it, plug it in, and let it simmer for about a good hour. And this is the finished product. Now normally in the winter time, we like to serve it over rice, but for the summer, we're serving it with the tortilla chips. Find more great videos like this by going to www.soulfoodinstilettos.com.